Christmas, sisters. Apocalypse, apocalypse, we caused it with our dumbness. Welcome, everybody, to another Nader Thoughts Review, another Netflix show this time, a television show, and this is for Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt is created by Tina Fey, which is a funny lady. She just got done with her long run of 30 Rock, and you know her from uh, Saturday Night Live, which she started in from Mean Girls for writing that and being a part of it. Uh, Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt is a show about Kimmy Schmidt, um, who is, a, I believe, a mole woman, is that what they like to call in the show. She was kept underground in a bunker with a bunch of uh, three other girls, one Hispanic to her... Uh, minority girls and a Hispanic oil lady who throughout the show is a running gag that she doesn't know English and it's one of the shows where it's a long running gag that works and it's one of the shows uh, where it's funny and as she is still in that bunker uh, the show just starts off with her being in the bunker and she is, she is free from that bunker and she is out to see the world and she happens to go to New York for one of those Good Morning America shows and she decides to stay and live her life and be a uh, roommate with a gay roommate, and um, we're gonna say it's a show that's really surprisingly funny. It's a show that really gets you off guard because it doesn't. It's one of the shows that it does. It's more of a girl show, but it's one of the shows that if you're a guy and you're watching it, you're gonna laugh your ass off because there's a bunch of hidden hidden jokes in there that you may understand. It's a show that in which Kimmy Schmidt was, I believe. Uh, middle school girl as she was kept on the bunker before she went to the bunker she was like a middle school girl so she was like late 90s so Kimmy Schmidt does a lot of 90s throwback and 90s uh, songs that she sings and Kimmy Schmidt uh, is a character that's really funny it's really she's really she's like that type of quirky character that's just always getting into trouble but for her charm and cuteness she's always gonna break free from it but everybody still questions like what's wrong with her she was in the bunker for like 14 years and um it's one of the shows where it's really funny. It's just funny. It's a funny show. It has a lot of characters that you really like, you know. And um, it's one of the shows that is just funny. It just gets you off guard. There's not a lot to say because it's, I can't spoil it because it's one of the shows where it is about her just making it out, making in life, you know, and adapting to this new modernized world. But it's weird because the people that she's with, she lives with her roommates, um, they, I feel like they're that type of character that haven't adapted to this modernized world as well. So it helps her because, um, unless just they help her with the somewhat that's modernized, they, she still is off guard and she's, uh, she becomes a, a nanny for a really rich white, a uh, really, uh, really rich, uh, uh, white girl and I forget her name, but she was on 30 Rock also. And it's a, it's a really funny show. It's not a lot to give away because I just think it's, it's one of the shows that you should watch it when you when you have nothing to see because as it's it's really short it's a, they have 13 episodes but it's one of the shows where where you want to keep watching it because you want to keep watching what kind of shenanigans Kimmy Schmidt get into what kind of uh foray uh hystericals that happens in the show because you have a lot of cameos in the shows and you have a lot of of, of running gangs that happen throughout the show one one of my one of my favorite gags is where the theme song is one of like one of those YouTube viral videos where they remix and they add like a sound to it and they re dub your voice it's a running gang where that's the theme song of the show and in the show you have by the end of the show you have that gag scene what happens to the guy who's singing that song it's like a like a like a before and after type of stuff and you know, the show is really funny this is a really funny show it's heartwarming you just laugh every time you see it and you wanna there's no there's no reason to get mad at the show because the shows are so funny, you know. I think one of been the funniest shows that I've seen so far. That and Fresh Off the Boat, which has been shows that are really funny, you know. I mean, you can say girls, shows like New Girls, that funny, that's funny, Mindy Project. But as a new, new show, this show's really picked up. And I kind of feel like Netflix is the great place to put it because it was supposed to be, I believe, on NBC or ABC. Um, but... They Netflix decides to buy the rights for it, and I kind of feel like that's great because I feel like there's so many sitcoms, there's so many shows that Kimmy Schmidt would have been overlooked, and it would have been like that one hit wonder. Maybe even Netflix would have picked it up after one season, but one of those shows where it is where it is at a good place, and I believe they have ordered two more seasons. It's one of those shows where you wish it won't be that long because of the budget that they do. It's not a big budget, but it's more of a 
you you see the city, you know, and stuff like that. Nothing's really is all practical effects and practical uh, uh, settings, stuff like that. And it's one of the shows where where you don't want to see it go that long because it is. I feel like one of those shows where it's going to be all about Kimmy Schmidt and until she adapts into this world or until she grows up to be her age because she's already, I believe, like 20-something, late 20s and and she still acts like a little teenager. But it's a, it's a really funny show. You know, I would recommend seeing it. You know, If you're a girl or a guy, if you're a couple, I would say recommend seeing it because one of those shows where couples can really uh, have a good laugh you know, before dinner or whatever. We're just hanging out because one of those shows where it relates to everybody, like and like uh, stupidness and and randomness into it. But that's all I have to say about Unbreakable Kitchen. It's been okay. Uh, time for Netflix. You have Daredevil. You can check out my Daredevil review. You can check out my um, Bloodline review and uh, this one for Unbreakable Kitchen. Maybe you can check out all the shows if you're if you're subscribed to Netflix. You know they've been doing okay stuff over there. In, um, I mean, with House of Cards and Orange is the New Black, which I, I've i not even gotten used to seeing those, but I barely started picking them up, watching a bunch of shows, finishing the shows that I want to finish, and now picking up new shows. But that's all I have to say for Unbreakable Kids. I would say recommend it. I really like it. I don't want to hype it up too much for you, but it is one of the shows where you will find every... Every episode, you're going to be really remembering about some funny thing that happened. And you're going to be quoting it because it's very quotable. Um, that's all, everybody. This is another, another Neighbor Thoughts review. If you're listening to this on SoundCloud, you could watch the same audio review on YouTube, Native Thoughts YouTube page. And if you're watching this on YouTube, you could listen to this on audio on SoundCloud if you're on the go, on the run. Doesn't matter. You're cooking. Doesn't matter. If you don't want to watch it, if you have time to focus on the screen, you could listen to it on headphones. Speaker of Bluetooth, whatever. Hope you guys have a good night. And good night, everybody.